In JavaScript, there are two types of strings, string primitives and string objects. In order to use a method with a string primitive, JavaScript converts the string into an object, then back into a primitive, all in the background. Note that none of these methods modify the original string but return a new string. The first thing that we'll look at is the string length property. This returns a count of the number of characters in the string. Now for the methods. We have the index of and last index of methods. These will return the index of the search string. With indices, remember that the count starts at zero. So the index of sub is zero. And these are case sensitive, so lowercase sub will return negative one, which means that it could not be found. Lowercase s returns three. Index of will return the first found occurrence. Last index of will return the last found occurrence. If you know the index of a letter, you can include that in brackets after the string to return that letter. Next we have starts with and ends with methods. Again, these are case sensitive and simply refer to the beginning and end of a string, then return a boolean true or false. Similarly, we have the includes method. This searches the entire string. The slice method uses indices to extract a portion of the string. The first example starts at index 3 and stops at, but does not include, index 9, returning the string scribe. If the second parameter is not included, then it will include the remainder of the string after that start position. With slice, we can use negative numbers to start at the end of the string. When counting from the end, we start at negative 1, counting down. The substring method is similar to slice, but cannot use negative numbers to start from the end. The replace method takes two parameters. The first is the string you are looking for, and the second is the string that will replace the first. With the match method, we can return an array based on a regular expression. Here we are returning all of the capital letters in the string. The split method allows us to split the string into an array based on a given character. Here we are splitting it with a blank space character, which splits it into the individual words. This is very useful when converting a delimited string into an array. The repeat method simply repeats the string a given amount of times. The concat method allows you to combine multiple strings into one. The two uppercase and two lowercase methods convert all characters in the string to either uppercase or lowercase. There are several trim methods. These will remove white space characters from the beginning, end, or both ends of the string. And lastly, we have the pad start and pad end methods. The first parameter is the desired length of the resulting string. The second parameter is the character that will be used to fill the empty spaces at either the beginning or the end of the string. This has been a 90-ish second JavaScript January.